Ooh, what is up you guys and as always welcome back to another in you ladder and yeah I promised you guys I'll showcase a Beatic team in rain and um, I'll, I'll say throughout the bat using Beatic in you definitely is um, <laughs> you have a disadvantage from the get-go uh, because Beatic is not necessarily the best rain sweeper definitely does do fairer in PU but that stated though, I really wanted to capitalize on the P on the NU um, theming with, of course, with laddering here. Uh, it should be stated though, this environment that I built for um, for this team is actually really good. The rain core, which basically is Lipod with its horn to knock off Uterine Rain Dance, and Yuxi with Toxic Memento, you can switch that to Uterine Rain Desire, a Stealth Rock Rain Dance. Actually, I do do that. I kind of want to pivot over Memento anyway. Um, so this is basically a bad set, but no, the, but this <laughs> not a bad set, but not not a particularly good either. Um, we don't want you timid, then want you jolly since you're going to a user. Uh, just straight up like, talking about as well. What I'm trying to say is the core is live part of Yuxi to set up rain. Gust Lord's primary role here is to actually uh, wall anything that does strifle against it, and also got to, to learn you want every ounce of EVs on special defense and not HP. So uh, you shout out to Sprite for telling me that. The other three mons is going to always be sweepers. Uh, you really want to have Lodicolo on it. Lodicolo just deal with the likes of Slowbro really well, which is the main reason why Bertig isn't doing f too well. It is because of that alone. Um, the last two mons can be either thing, but Capitops is primarily the one you want. Uh, but due to I really want Rock UMC on that Pokemon to be able to capitalize on it, we're actually going to try Seismic Toad with uh, Life Orb, Drain Punch, Earthquake, Ice Punch, and Knockoff. And then we go in to actually use a Beatic then with Dark UMC and Night Slash, Ice Glitter, Super Superpower, and Sword Stance. The reason for the Dark UMC is primarily to actually capitalize on the Slow Bro switching, though it should be said that. Uh, Beatic does do well with Choice of Bad and uh, Ice Glue Crest overall, uh, and also does really well with uh, Filler Moving Aqua Jet with Life Orb if you want to capitalize on that. But for this team, I do want Beatic to shine a little bit, and uh, my way of doing so is actually to deal with possible Slow Bros. So, yeah, we're probably going to lose a lot of points with this ladder. We're going to try to do at least three battles, and uh, this does not look good for me due to we having a really tough matchup here. Jelly Scent is always nice. Uh, Hitmonlee, if it is a fake out normal game scene or set, could be very tough. But yeah, overall, we should be able to start something. Now, I do believe his lead should be Exilgal. Uh, so we're going to start off with the lie part. As you see, Yuxi, that's quite alright. We're going to taunt him directly. Um, that's the overall best response we can do. Uh, Ghost Protect, actually. So that's quite right. We still he protects himself while I'm taunting him. That always looks so tremendous. Um, predicting his switch out. Should I go for a knockoff? I really should. Um, yeah, because he switches out to Spirit Tomb. He sets the pressure on me, which is quite right. And we knock off his leftovers. Um, we can taunt this guy too, I think. So let's do that. No call mines for you. Oh, it's immune. Wait, why is it immune? Oh yeah, pranks and dog types. Oh. I always forget. So there's a slow destiny bond on me, so that's okay. We're gonna go for a U-turn. I always forget about that. Um <laughs> I I've joked with people before, like how could you even forget about it? Here I am doing it myself. As uh, so was he substitute? All right, cool. Um, the smart man says pain split here, right? All right. I'm basically giving him back HP if I do this. So let's try this instead. It goes for Willow instead. I think that's okay. Um, I'm gonna get off my rocks actually. As uh, so we see Shadow Ball, and that's gonna do a chunk. Uh, isn't too badly actually. Um, definitely isn't too scary towards me as we can go for a U turn here. Not gonna break the sub. Um, he's playing me for a fool right now. We've seen Will O Wisp, we've seen uh, Shadow Ball, we see Substitute. I kinda wanna see Calm Mind too, but alright, you know, I'll take it. As, of course, Destiny Bond too. 
Why would it go for Desti Destiny Bond behind a sub, though? That will never, never go out of style, as it goes for another will o wisp This time he will probably die, though. So, we're gonna go for the KO. Um, weird, very weird Spirit Tomb set. Though I am burned, so Jelly Scent is now a Pokemon that could fend me off. And why, quite frankly, why wouldn't you want to do that? As Hitmolee comes in. Um, as stated, I'm pretty sure we could see a normal gem variant of this. So, I'm gonna go for Rain Dance, predicting the possible... Oh, Rapid Spin, actually. I'll take it. I'll take it. Mm -hmm. Kind of surprised about that, to be honest. Uh, I still want my rocks up, though. That's Yuxi's role. Or not Yuxi's role, I mean. Um, oh, disconnected. Ah. Come on, man. Don't do this. <sighs> there we go. He's back. Uh, I still have to make up my mind. Uh, I'm actually going to go to Seismitoad, since it is a decent switch in here. As we're going to see... Axelgaru comes in, so that's that's cool. I'm going to go for a knockoff directly, I think. Um, basically whittle him down, as I don't want to skate Giga Drain, but it's very possible. No energy ball, that's, that's far better. Um, with that said, though, I'm actually going to switch in Beatic and... Uh, I can go for a Sword Stance here, I think. Let's see. He goes for a Focus Blast. Oh, that's tremendous. That's exactly what you want to see. Right, Ice Little Crash it is. Glad it didn't kill me, though, but come on, man. Alright, goes to Jelly Scent. Ooh, that did a fair amount of damage, actually. As so we're going to go for a C Black Eclipse. And just kill him. Um. So Jelly Ascent is also a response, so that's why I kind of want the Dark UMC here for Beatic. Who knew you know, I get to use that, even though it was a 2-hit KO anyway. Um, Axelor comes back in, stalling out the rain. I'll just go for a Night Slash here. Um, since I am faster than Axelor, which is always good to know, I have one more turn of rain. Kind of want Yuxi, we'll see you hit Molly. He could have fake out, he could have rapid spin, he could have also nothing of value. I don't need to reserve this Pokemon, so that's a thing. So I'm actually gonna go for Ice Crash predicting the possibility of hit him with Mac Punch. Yeah, there we go. Nice fuck. Um I still had no possible switch in there anyway, so that was actually quite alright as um let's see. I think my play here is uh, actually to go for. I don't know why I sent in Yuxi. I kind of want to reset the rain dance, I guess. But Self Rocks is by far the more important, as I think he's going to switch out to preserve this Pokemon. So Chinchino comes in. Uh, Chinchino will most certainly outspeed. I go for rain dance. Go for U turn. Awesome. We needed that. <laughs> Let's see, it goes to his own Yuxi. Um, now, the question is whether or not it goes for rocks on his own, as I'll go for, of course, a uh, U turn myself. Uh, don't do it a significant amount of damage, really. Um, let's see, we have rain for with three turns after this. Hydro Pump should, should really pressure him, though. Uh, we see knockoff, he's gonna knock off my life orb, that's unfortunate. As I can go for Hydro Pump anyway. Hydro Pump is gonna sting. That's definitely packing a punch behind it. Uh, though I can't, I can't lose Lode Colo this Wi-Fi Bell whatsoever. Uh, he could have U-turn, and U-turn will do a decent chunk. But uh, yeah, I, f I feel fine here. The Lifer would clearly help a Citrus Berry. Nice. And Psychic does 30. Okay. Let's say that I don't want any more residual damage onto my Lode Colo. Let's see. An, an, another Hydro Pump will kill him. Gustlord is the, by far the safer switching, though. Meh. Hydro Pump. Protect. Oh, you scum. Right, one more time. Or he sacks something. I mean, Yuxi does have a possibility of walling Lyper at this time. Um, I think risking Hitmolee, which is his number one choice of winning, 
would be very unfortunate as we see Hitmali comes in and we do connect. I think we won there and then, actually. The see, Chinchino comes in and all I really can do is sack off my Uxi. That's going to be my number one play here. And uh, miss a tail slap, that's quite right. He still outspeeds me, so it doesn't necessarily matter as I'm still going to go for rain dance. I miss again. That's now it's just annoying, actually. <laughs> Come on, finish me. Finish me. <laughs> I actually mean that. I'm I really am not in mood for actually those type of hacks. I actually want him to kill me. Uh, okay, he switch. Okay, goes for U-turn. That means that he's going to bring his Yuxi. I'm bringing Gus Lord here. Um, because he's overall safer. He could have Dazzling Gleam, but if so, you know, that's that's all fine and dandy. As I'm not sure whether or not Chinchino can KO Gus Lord even. Uh, Yuxi still outspeed, does outspeed me, so u turn should do a decent... Or do some damage towards me. But quite frankly, if it does that, it just misses Chinchino dies and his possible win con is falling with that. I do believe protect stalling would be his number one response here. Just stall out the rain and then go for a possible U-turn. Um, even at that though, I'm, I think I'm still secure this match because I can still reset the rain with them. Um, uh, what do you call it? With my monster that is uh, Thunder Wave. Okay, cool. Um, I can still reset the rain with Lipart and then go to my Lodi Cholo. Let's see, one more turn of possible rain. Uh, it's whether Tail Slap does do the damage. I mean, I've seen Banded Chinchino, so we know it's not that it's a U turn away, but that's always a factor. We have King's Rock, though, which definitely will set me in a very good mood. Come on, man. Go through U turn. That possibly is the best amount of damage as we get the win. Alright, there we go. GG. Um. I actually, while testing around this team, I actually lost a lot of points. Uh, we went from, I do believe, the 1300s to basically around 1100. Uh, though it had to be done. Uh, really, when you fail testing teams, you really just gotta do it, though. Probably not the way I did it. Um, let's see, number one lead here. I think I think Kecleon is a decent lead for him. Miss Major is also is kind of annoying for me to deal with. I feel like Seismitoad is such an obvious... No, I'll start off with Livepod. See Miss Major is there, so that's quite right. As... Um, I go directly for a knockoff. I think he's gonna switch out to South and again take it. As we see Kecleon... Um, Kecleon with Assault Vest actually, and did not appreciate that damage. And will not appreciate his following damage either. Switches out again actually, back to Weezing. Um, now, Weezin can't do anything, they're gonna taunt him, so he can't will o wisp me or set up Toxic Spikes. As uh, he forfeited, alright, nice. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. That was, that was unfortunate. That was a pretty standard series of plays, though, so I don't know if he defensively tried to check me there, but it really didn't work in his favor. Um, he basically said, fuck it, I don't want this. <laughs> Alright, I'm glad when it works. Like like I said before, I lost a few games here. So seeing two wins in a row, though clearly not on the you know the, the, the toughest matchups here. I still it, I need that. Because I had such a like I said a rough rundown. Ooh. Hitmole is really everywhere. Persian does make for a decent leader, technician, U turn and whatnot. Um I'm gonna lead off with Yuxi, I think. If he leaves like a Houndoom, I'm basically screwed. Um, but I think Persian is his best start of Oh, actually, um, actually Wigglytuff. Wigglytuff can set up uh, Stealth Rock, so that's kind of cool. We're just going to go for a safe Toxic here. Uh, while Stealth Rock would be more interesting, I kind of want his Pokemon Willow down, as we see Flamethrower. Alright, buddy. Alright. I'm going to go for Stealth Rocks. Um, let's see, he goes to Houndoom. He gets a safe switch, I should say, to Houndoom. Now, we are in a speed time. We are in a speed time. So, um, Gust Lord is a good switch in and kind of was scared of the pursuit. There's Dark Pulse is going to come and go. Um, i actually going to go for a Dark Pulse on my own because his best switch into this would be possibly Wigglytuff. But quite frankly, anything that Soka hits, 
Um, actually goes for a Will-O-Wisp. Very interesting. Dark Force Clear doesn't do necessarily anything as... Um, oh, I guess I go for Draco then. If you're gonna stay, I'm gonna do it. Oh, there it goes the Wiggly. I was fearing this. Uh, we don't outspeed the Wigglytuff, so that's gonna be annoying in the long run. Um, the one perk I have though is that uh, I can send in Yuxi again as his safe place should be Dazzling Gleam. And uh, yeah, quite frankly, I think his best switch in here would be to. Should he bring in Houndoom again? I wonder. Um, I'll go for Rain Dance. He's definitely gonna switch out though. Goes back to Houndoom, so that's quite alright. Rain Dance is so safe, it's not even funny. And uh, Gustlord is still now in number one switch in here. Like, I am whittling him down no matter what. And I don't think he has any way of damaging me, so with that in mind, I'm actually going to go to Seismitoad, just get the damage. He stayed in, though. Goes for a Roar. Oh, that's new. Roar is new. Okay, so Houndoom is gone, and a major switch into... Uh, a major switch into... Uh, what do you call it? To Yuxi is gone. Uh, Houndoom really, really was his worst Pokemon out of this, but still is a very decent Pokemon overall. As Persian comes in, it's gonna go for a U-turn. I only have one Rain Turn left in me, and um, his U-turn overall does really hurt me. So, do I need this Pokemon? I mean, it's nice for Hypno. Everything just get will down here. I'm actually gonna bring Seismitoad, hoping it doesn't do too much. Oh, it actually did quite alright. Um, let's see. It could have Seed Bomb though. That's something I definitely are fearing. Um, I think his switching though should be. Um, oh, he had Seed Bomb. Fuck! I, I, I told myself don't do it. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna bring Light Part here, um, and just go for a Rain Dance. Yeah, I think that's the easiest way of doing it. As he misses the play rough, which is really unfortunate. Um, that really, really opens it up the game for us a lot. As uh, so I'm gonna switch in the Lodicolo play rough's gonna at least now connect, and I can go for a Giga Drain here, and it does do a fair amount of damage. He could U-turn. He goes for Gunk Shot. I have no idea what's going on right now. Um, <laughs> did I make the worst play? Go for Ice Skull Crash here. It's gonna KO. Um, show me Vaporeon. Now I'm not in a good spot though. I'm in a terrible spot. I don't think I can win now. Uh, Vaporeon comes in. Um, I can't do anything to Vaporeon. I can't switch in Gust Lord. Um, kind of have to reset the rain basically. As I'm pretty sure... Oh, right. What I can do now, though, is go for Heavy Slam, predicting the Wigglytuff. Oh, you smug. You smug, stalling me out in the burn. As I can go for Dark Pulse this time. Skull shouldn't do necessarily anything. Dark Pulse should definitely do something. As the next turn is gonna do what they always do, which is toxic. Or, I mean, Protect. He's definitely going to go for Protect. Um, you have seen me, though. You have seen my set. I don't know. Okay, he actually let it get Toxic. I wonder if he thought it was worth it. I mean, I can whittle you down a lot easier. You can just go for Protect while I go for Rain Dance. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Um... I really gotta think though. Uh, I'll definitely go for a U turn here. Back to Gust Lord. This goes for Skull, it won't do anything. And I am well within range right now for a Skull combination. Is whether or not he figured that out one out, he doesn't. Because he needs to attack me one more time. If it doesn't do that, then I'm gonna survive the next couple of burns. So with that in mind, I'm actually gonna go for a heavy slam, predicting the wiggly tough. As he goes for a second protect, you smug. All right. I can just bring in live part here again, um, because I can just go for a knockoff here. Vaporeon gone is gonna help me quite a lot. 
as uh, he goes for a toxic here again all right i wonder if that's his number one responses to to it all basically uh, is whether or not if if Mali is what i think it is which should be normal gem variant uh, i'm still kind of screwed but i'm i feel i feel like i'm screwed in control that's the dumbest thing i said in quite some time as all i really can do here is go for rain dance again i think I think it's worth losing Yuxi down the line here. But I am defensively checked here. So Lu not going for Hydro Pump with the Maya, with my Mon really did suck quite a lot. So I'm feeling that this is a bit unfortunate. I'm gonna go for a U-turn and uh, I guess I go for Beatty again away to get through a little damage there. Um, oh, we get a crit also. That kind of sucked, actually. That really sucked. Um, go for ice, go crash, just KO. Ooh, I did not like that. Did not like that one bit. Right, in with Yuxi. Hoping for the fake out. Brick break. All right, buddy. All right. Go for toxic then. Yeah, we still outspeed him. Knock off. Okay. This is weird. This is really weird. I'm not accustomed to see brick break. At all. Let's see. I just go for rain dance again. Um, I have to bank... The thing is here, I can set up a sword stance, which definitely just sucks. I'm probably losing to Hypno, but at least I'm dying trying. So you go for Ice Cold Crash here, that's gonna K... Not gonna KO, really... Oh, Flamestow! <laughs> okay, it's whether or not Hypno can survive this. Oh, dear lord, please, that would have been so nice. Oh, come on, do it! I need this. I need it so badly. Oh! <laughs> oh, best hacks ever. <laughs> I definitely did not deserve to win that game at all. Ah, oh, that's cool. All right, one more game. Um, <laughs> tell you guys, Dark MC on Beatic has really, really resolved in some kind of, well, solution management. Now, here's a hazard team. This will not end well for me um, at all <sighs> question is what it leads off with I, I still gotta talk with Lipod it's still gotta be the lead here as uh, okay he goes for this guy I think that's okay um, I don't think he can do anything oh there's a toxic so clearly I lied as uh, I'm gonna threaten him out with a stealth rock here as we're gonna see Vaporeon coming in so that's okay. My response here is definitely going to be toxic to get to get on him. Uh, really didn't like I got toxic there, but I, that was my play. That was really my best play anyway. As we see, Skull there is going to get some damage onto me, but that's quite all right. As I'm, I'm slowly dying a painful death. Lodicolo can come in and set up a rain dance as he goes for heal bell, and that's never helpful. Let's see, his switch in here should be. Uh, Garbodor, I do believe so, because he do not want to stay in here. I'm going for rain dance anyway. Let's see, aromatize. All right, and we're gonna get some damage done. Goes for protect. All right. I'm going for protect here. No, I thought it was switch out to Vaporeon. Goes for a wish. Is this type of team, isn't it? So with that said, I'm freaking bringing it. Gonna take my chance to go for a sword stance. As he goes directly for Steelix. That's unfortunate. Oh, just go for Isley Crash anyway. Get the damage. Oh, he went for Dragon's Hill. Lucky me. Very lucky me. 
Let's see, he doesn't have any floater either, so Earthquake should do a decent chunk to his whole team. As uh, Hitmontok probably can soak a hit here, but quite frankly, it will still hurt. Um, the question is whether or not we are back to... Um, let's see, for 2%, right, he can easily spin here towards me, versus me. Um... And we don't do enough damage to wheel him down. So I'm actually going to bring Yuxi. And while he spins, and I can possibly scare him out with uh, Toxic and Stealth Rock. Let's see, he goes to Steelix, smart man. As uh, I'm still going to try to go for Stealth Rocks here. Like, that's still my play, no matter what. As he goes for his rocks on his own, and that's quite alright. As I can now actually go for Rain Dance, thinking he'll go for Dragon Tail. There we go. And we get Gussie out. And Gussie want to be the fuzzy. Let's see, is whether or not I should go for Heavy Slam here. He should be fine on Rain. He definitely want to stay. I would stay. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Dark Pull doesn't do anything. Uh, I don't believe Dark Pulls. I'm actually going to go for Draco here. Goes for Rapid Spin, so that's alright. He definitely is loose. Oh, but I miss, so you know, that's awesome. That's always helpful. Now I saw that, so we're definitely going to bring Aromatis now. And we're going to go for Heavy Slam, so... Bitch! <laughs> okay. But that won't be the lucky next time here. Let's see, which one set the rain off was the Yuxi, right? Um... I still go for Heavy Slam. Goes for Protect, alright. This is probably one of those slower games, right? Nobody wants to see those kind of feeling dialies. And I'm, I'm just walled. Walled, 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 walled. Like walled. Oh. Let's see. Here comes the Moonblast. Bringing Yuxi, sacking it basically, as he switches out to Vaporeon, and um, I'll just go for a uh, Rain Dance here. As he goes for a Wish, I'll go for Stealth Rock then. So completely wasting his possible turn here, as he goes back to his Aromatis. So that's all right. We'll fall to Toxic, and we have the Rain intact. And um, I'll just go to Beatic because while I do free fall here damage wise, I can go for a Sword Stance. It's whether or not he's going for a move last, right? Yeah, there we go. Fuck it. You know what? It's gonna be a stall game, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. Um, thank you for joining, of course, this episode as always. And sorry for that end, but quite frankly, that would have been a very slow game. That would probably would have lost anyway because that got boring fast. Anyway guys, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next video. Till then, take care.